final choices. Looks like it will be four ranged champions for Fnatic mm -hmm. to push down those turrets along with some hard engages this time around with that Leone. If he gets locked in, of course, we'll see which way Yellowstar wants to go with this one. Could switch it out, and it is going to be a Lulu, which means we have some crazy, crazy shields, heals, everything going on for Fnatic once again. Yeah, and I like the Elise pick here. Gonna help in the lane swap early on with the attack speed she can provide to herself. That's five in, range champions. In spider form there to actually fast push the turrets a little bit. And they are on the bottom turret, do get that weaker push, and they are doing a lot of damage down on towards it. Both the top laners yet to join this split push. They're not needed, they're keeping that farm going. So has Pin taken pretty low by the Wolves at the moment, actually. Meanwhile, he needs to be a little bit careful. So, top turret goes down, bottom turret goes down. Fnatic and SK get themselves one apiece. Fnatic continue that push, and SK doing the exact same thing in top. At least for now, Tower of Tower. That's how you do it. Very That's how it's beautiful. supposed to be done. And uh, now we are going to see them both going down here as well. And I like this from Fnatic, leaving that turret up as long as he can, just trying to burn off a oh, bit more farm. And it's so smart because they want to get the wave to push towards Fnatic here, so Freddy won't be able to just get a lot of farm. And it means also from from Lulu, or from Source, standing down here actually, where SK continued to push up, we'll get a bit more XP at least for now than Freddy. See, Cyanide, he can land a cocoon and a lot of damage. Oh, Dash already used from Candy Panda. This oh. is bad news for Candy Panda. He flashes away to the back. Carmen coming from the side. There's the slow. Can they lock him up though? There is the exhaust being used. Candy Panda is going so, so very low. Couple more hits will do it. Reckless doesn't finish it off, but Yellow Star does. Here comes Fenskun. Freddy has TP'd in there as well. Cyanide needs to land some crowd control and he does get the cocoon on Enrage and they put some damage back. In the end, it's a one for nothing. So Candy Panda here, he thought it was only Reckless staying in lane, so he dashes instantly towards him, turns around, Karma is there, and then the Teleport coming in from Source, that's the difference. Yes, he was first of all freezing the lane now, it's obviously pushing in favor of SK, but still, he was all the way up in his top lane, but he had Teleport, so he could join in for the fight. Freddy, he won't get any of that CS. Up yep, with well the pressure in this middle turret here. SK just completely circumnavigated the dragon. Look at the damage already here on towards Soas. And Rated will catch him in as well. Now Freddy comes in from that side. Actually, level four here only is Freddy. Soas trying to dodge him and Svenskrin does go low. Soas actually flashed away as well. Can Peke escape it? He's level six. He goes oh into Kuga and he is going to leap away. Simply greedy for SK Gaming. They thought they could get two kills. They get away with no kills. Svenskrin was on one target and Freddy split off and went for the other. That was a big mistake by SK. Fnatic now moving an entire team over to middle, ace in the hole and the spear not quite enough to get the kill onto Enrated. But now they're going to go for Jezus, the leash is going to land. Svenskrin coming in, the spear doesn't hit Enrated, just out of range, but they could push the tower. Yeah, very early on Fnatic decides to group up and just try and land the spears, doing a lot of poke damage. Four members is here. Didn't so. want to do that. On towards that inner turret in the mid lane. And with Xpeke there now, they can maybe do this one. What are SK going to do about it? They're not going to go for Dragon, but they're going to be too late for the tower as well. So Way too late for the party this time around. They're actually looking to try and engage her. They're going to jump on towards Cyanide. There's the three talent strike coming in, but it didn't land. Exhaust was used on Svenska. And oh, Crescendo flashed away from. And Yellowstar avoiding that one. It was a turret for turret, but the inner central turret, that's massive. It means now with ultimates down, Key ultimate, no ultimate on Jesus, no ultimate on Enraided, and no ultimate on the Candy Panda. Fnatic gets the dragon, so very good play around the map here. And SK simply didn't know how to react as soon as they got in a bad position. So Oz is also pushing this top tower, and actually he's gonna take it as well. Did use wild growth on himself, which don't think he needed to do was more a case of, okay, I'm a little bit worried someone dives on me here and I've got him just about enough mana to use, so I'm just going to do it and recall. Let's keep edging forward here, trying to get involved. Is it going to go into all Freddy on the top lane? Not sure he's getting away. Ace in the hole will finish off there for Reckless. Love this AD carry gank. He moved all the way from the mid lane up there. Freddy, the turret was already gone because Source actually killed it early on. He had 1v1, so he was just open for the gank. SK though, pushing on to this mid turret. They're gonna get the turret down, now they're gonna try and turn on towards it. There's a flash crescendo onto Yellowstar, he's gonna go down. That's gonna be the top inner turret going down though, as Fnatic continue to push. Oh, Becca Enrated. jumps on towards Enrady, gets the claws out, pounces in there, uses the exhaust on Sven Skern, flashes away from the three talent strike, and he just joins the rest of his team. They're gonna rotate round though. Cyanide comes in, the cocoon is available, if he tries to throw it out, throws himself in front of the Cullin. Reckless is now joining, Soaz is there. So 
let's go and dives in towards Peke, but he's <laughs> going to get away with that one. Pounces across, nicely done. Gets the kill on towards him. Now so has Gortown, or is he? That's the question. The spears come raining through that bush. It's dangerous chasing this uh, Fnatic team. And Fnatic can just kite for days. As long as the ultimate from Jesse is not there and the Flash Crescendo is gone. They can just kite. We saw, we saw it here. Flash Crescendo was used to get the first kill. Same goes for Jesse's ultimate. And from there on, Fnatic just running around in the jungle, in and out, getting the kills. Svenson was like, I'm gonna get you now. Boom. No. Executed by the Q from the Delin Kuka for him, and he goes down. We need to just instant kill a target before they start kiting against us. That's why the GFG and Freddy very aggressive on Pekka. Jumping on towards Peke, has not really got much to chase in. There's no ghost in there, and Peke can just heal himself up and just chase on towards him. Freddy now in trouble. Peke turning this one on towards him. Google form, spear oh, lands again. Now Freddy down to half hit points. That heal will be on cooldown. There he goes, heals himself up. Cougar form pounces in towards him, pulls out the claws, jumps, switches back to form, and he can just pounce straight back on towards him. Freddy's got nowhere to run on this one. Spear comes through, does not land, but the basic attacks as he oh, walks through Red the minion. Cross. Walks through the board and the red buff slows him down. The rest of Fnatic, they're being chased by SK, but they're going to try and turn this one around as well. Peke joining the fight. Ace in the hole coming through. Peke comes oh! the side and he snaps off Jezus. Can they get any more here? They've got the slow. They turn towards Peke, who is going to go down finally. But what are SK going to lose for it? They lose the support as well. That is a four for two in favor of Fnatic. Reckless, crucially, he is still up here. He may be able to do some good damage onto the inning. Sorry. And we actually had SK picking up a kill in the mid lane while everything went on here in the top. Jesus used his ultimate, jumped in, got the kill. But then because Peggy was already so far up the lane, he could just come in towards the mid lane here. First spear right in the face of Jesus. He was gone and then continued to go there. Yes, he died, but still gave two extra kills for, for Fnatic. 6,000 gold lead for Fnatic. Here we go. This is the start of the fight where SK went aggressive on Fnatic. Yeah, so every time again, the ultimate from Jesus is up. He can join in the fight. He just jump into them. Try and get the kill, and Sander actually almost escaping, but then Svenskun, last hit, gets him down. And for me, notice your minimap. Peg is already starting to jump all the way down towards the rest of the team, and as soon as he joins in, there's no vision actually. They spot him with a pink ward, but from here, there's no vision on this spear in the oh. face of Jesus. He's gone, and yeah, Peggy just sacrificing a little bit, staying around. Very good turnaround though by SK, very good coordination, saying jump him now, ultimate from, from end rated. But it meant they were stuck in the position and ended up giving two extra kills. Dragon actually coming up here in just five seconds time. You'll notice on the scoreboard that's a Rabadon's death cap here for XPK now. Someone like Enrique Ooh. does not want to catch them. They're actually going to catch out Yellow Star here. They throw everything that they've got at him and Jezus will pick that one up. Does that mean Dragon here for SK Gaming? They're going to have to get rid of XPK here though first, I feel. Cyanide is also waiting off to the backside. We see Freddy up at the top. No teleport. So as does have a teleport, and he is teleporting into this one. Here comes the damage. Jesus almost goes down from that one. Dragon did go to SK. Svenskun's going to jump in. Reckless flash. That's going to be two kills for SK Gaming. For Fnatic, sorry. Exactly the same again. Right here, Peke. I'm gonna let that minion wave oh. go through. Almost connected him, but Soaz at the backside. Catching out Enraiton. Jesus is in the middle of nowhere. Crescendo wow. was already used. Jesus goes low. Jesus goes down. And now they're going for the rest of the team. Enraiton is super low. The exhaust was on, on towards Freddy, and that's enough to actually get the kill. Meanwhile, Peke chases in. Point blank spear will take down Enraiton. Ace in the hole means a triple kill for Reckless. That's four men down. What a Fnatic. What's he gonna do with his 30 seconds until some of these players are coming back up? The second Candy Panda showed in the bottom lane. Peggy, he went straight for the mid lane. They wanted to start the fight here. Called out SK. The crescendo had to be used just on the source to try and escape. It wasn't up here. And then a spear onto Jesus. He was down to like, what, 5 HP? And then boom, instant going and gets a kill for Regus. And they can go straight for Baron now. He's actually trying to and he's gonna recall. Possibly gonna die here. He's spam. Oh, he's, he's, ah, dead. he's dead. Yeah, there's one of Candy oh, Panda kite, this kite, one. Kite. He's go yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> not the jungle. That'll be a reckless. Ah. Ah. Peke secures that one. Meanwhile, Soaz actually killed Freddy one versus oh, one. No problem. What? Oh my god. Soaz is so fed. Look at his death cap, void stuff, everything just to kill Freddy every single oh, time. Oh god. 
Oh, you're this on a ward. not working out. They're stood on top of the ward. They do sweep it down, but it's a little too late. Oh, the inner flame doesn't quite land. The spear's oh. on the ground. Jez is almost getting one shot. Ace in the hole comes through, finishes the job. Crescendo being used by Enrated purely defensively. Sven Skerin gets caught out. And well, Fnatic continue to shove on through. So has Jason in. This is going to feel bittersweet for Enrated, I'm afraid. His former teammates chase on to warm him. And that is going to be the surrender vote. Fnatic are the world. Well, the European champions, at least they did it again. Fnatic, man, you always know when to play good. And they deserve this one as well. No team has been this dominant in any place in the world as the good legends. Spring split, summer split in 2013. Spring split here in 2014. Absolutely incredible record that Fnatic have in the LCS. And Demon pretty much said it during the game. You need your superstars to perform in these supportive matches. And every single time Fnatic are playing the finals, Peggy does well. Reckless now, of course, still the new guy in Fnatic, but coming in here, performing so well the entire season.